And for those times What's this cutscene about? Feeling blue, uh, don't, I don't remember. I see we're recycling every NPC we've ever had. Thugs for less prison. Experience the maximum. Oh, this is like the jail. Because you're going to get captured. Oh, right. <laughs> What'd you think of that? That didn't seem so bad. I assume you have Wait, are they actually going to take you away right away? Oh, because I there's a platinum bolt right there. Yeah, they they we we force you into this level. Wow. And you can't get back, can you? You just can't leave this level. Uh no, not until you beat it. <laughs> That doesn't really make sense. I think that's why it's funny. Mmm. <laughs> oh, more Clank gameplay. Oh, Clank's girlfriend again. Oh, that was some innuendo. Also, a little bit of cock blocking on Ratchet's part. And uh, we're we're doing a Clank segment that we have been thrust into against our will. That's right. Oh. So we might have to go back and finish up the Silver City in a later episode. Yeah, I mean we right had now we are doing the prison. We had such plans too. Yeah. <laughs> we were we were like, yeah, we're gonna do the city and then the museum and no man. This No, uh... the game had other ideas for us. We're way past the part that I played to uh, a few months ago. And uh, uh, so I you know, anything beyond this that happens, I just don't even know. Oh, a hammerbot. <laughs> I don't even know what, what's going to, you know, it, we might as well have never played this game before because I don't remember anything from here on. The hammerbot. What did the hammerbot do? Obviously I mean, hammered things. Besides hammer. Besides not being able to be touched. Because you see his hammer. No, 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 I can't touch this. <sighs> yeah, I get it. That was not acceptable? No. Stop! You know what time it is? <laughs> Hammer time! Yeah, that's right. If you were born in the 90s, say hey. I, I, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. I think born in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, God damn it. Because well, you would have had to have been alive in the 90s. Let's put, let's put it that way. Right. Well, and, and able to appreciate pop culture. Stop. Hammer time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I have no idea how we would have expected people to figure that out, though. Well, what else can you do? Yeah, I suppose. You're stuck in a room and there's nothing else to do. Can we get some uh, microbots? All right. So... Enemies in the... Did you ever have to uh, code a Clank segment, Tony? No, never never once. Um, the enemies in a Clank segment were special case versions of those enemies that all had uh, way fewer hit points and uh, different behaviors. They would... Um, uh, like, their pre-attack delays were much longer. Uh, basically, they were just made way easier so that, uh, you know, the player could... Uh, uh, have a chance of defeating them as Clank. Because, uh, you know, as Ratchet, the chicken bots at this stage are, are very difficult. Right. Alright, so, uh, I'm not going over to those guys. <laughs> oh, okay. They're over, the gadget bots I need are over here. You have to send them to die. That's basically what you're doing. Well, they respawn immediately. I know, but it's so dark. It's just <laughs> go. Oh. oh, oh, get out! Watch it. Where the hell did he come from? That's kind of a bitch move. Platform their platforms come up when you get up here. That is a bitch move. All right, Clank did it. And now you have to play as Ratchet without Clank. 
Oh, and do they have a vendor? Yeah, it's right oh, in front of you. Okay. So I don't remember who did this level, but I want to say Peter. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. I honestly didn't even remember that this level existed. You know oh. what? Oh, oh, that's a good gun. Oh, and that the shield, shield charger is also good. Oh man. We're I'm... gonna definitely have to do some off-camera bolt grinding. Oh yeah, totally. There's a lot of stuff to see. In terms of the levels in this game, if you had to venture a guess, for the most part, if it wasn't me, it was probably Peter, is the way I look at it in these games. You guys did split a lot of the levels, didn't you? We had a big portion of them. Because a lot of the other programmers were put on sort of really specialized tasks. Yeah, multiple multiple things. Like, uh, you know, if Roberto did a level, I don't, I'm not sure if he did, but he was also doing weapons and camera and... Right. Uh, and Tim had a lot of levels as well, but a lot of his time was spent on the sort of really big, you know, like the, the crystal levels that ended up taking a whole lot of time and uh, things like that. Yeah, so at, well, those are those are huge time sinks of levels. Like, right. you know, you pretty much have to have a programmer dedicated. So yeah, and turn. But you and Peter were pretty much just focused entirely on doing levels. Right. If the levels weren't didn't have anything really special about them, if they were just sort of you know standard enemy ratchet gameplay, uh, a lot of that fell to me and Peter. Well, anything special besides awesomeness. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the, the other good way to know if Peter did a level is if you look at the doors and bridges and are like, that's pretty cool, probably Peter. <laughs> that's, that's probably true. Oh, look, they're, they're fast roping in from the side. Yeah. It's a nice touch. It is a nice touch. And the bolts fall down and come back to you so you don't lose them. That's good. Maybe I did this level. Did, did I? You? I don't, those platforms are familiar to me, but I don't think I did this level. I don't. I don't know. God, this is starting might to get really dangerous. I might have debugged some of this level, but I don't think I actually did it. I. I don't know. This is starting to get like very deja vu weird. <laughs> um. I remember this too. I remember these. I remember that effect. I didn't do that effect. That effect's way too good for me. There's no way I did that effect, but I remember those platforms. I'm confused, Mike. I don't know. I don't even know where to stand <laughs> in terms of this level. So much of this stuff seems so familiar, but I don't remember this level at all. I just remember bits and pieces. Maybe this was some traumatic experience sort of thing. Oh, and you've just blocked it out? Possibly. I don't think it's a very long level. I mean, that might be why. Wow, okay. There's bolts here. And there. Whoa. Watch it, the lava's rising. Oh! That is, you can't make that jump as Clank. That's uh, not great. Who was the guy who who coded Clank in this game? Uh, probably, someone... probably Brian Hastings. Did. Brian Hastings, I think, was still doing the hero uh, on these games. Bridge bot. What's up, bridge bot? I'm sad that we're not going to be able to see the lift bot again. Now that yeah, you told me that he's only got that one purpose, I feel kind of sad for him. He was supposed to show up in the final level. Uh, but the clank segment in the final level got cut. Was it a matter of time, or was it... Uh... It, was it was time. It, it, uh, it got cut before any implementation work was done on it. Yeah, because I don't think anything was done. Die, chicken butts. Roberto must have been so mad when he saw these elevator shafts. He's like, what are you thinking? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you have to build a bridge to nowhere here. The, the This is like breaking the rule about 
the bridge bot. Like, the bridge bot can only show up in certain areas, and then that time you had to just take it on faith that the bridge bot would go into the air for no reason. I mean, I suppose there wasn't anything else you could do, but even so, that's that's crazy. Wow, this guy's pretty let, brutal. Don't let them all go in one by one. You gotta, you gotta attack as a team. That's what we're teaching kids. Teamwork. Teamwork, Teamwork. is important. That's right. Otherwise, you're all die a brutal death. Well, Clank is all about teamwork, whether it's this or the monkey or, you know. He... Oh, that's right, the monkey. That's right. He was the big assistance in the other in the other games. Yeah, and and that was me too. Uh, the, I did the Clank stuff in uh, in those later games. Man, this is a really long Clank segment. <laughs> I'm liking that hammer bot though. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I mean, he's kind of a one-trick pony, but... He doesn't do much else besides swing that hammer. No. Do I have a bridge bot here, too? Look, I do. But no lifter bot, because the lifter bot only, <laughs> only shows up in one area. Oh, poor lifter bot. He got so owned. Oh, wait. Let's make him salute. Yay! <laughs> I think we added that for this game. People loved it. The salute, even though it has no purpose? Yeah, yeah, it was just a... For some reason, it was a very, very popular uh, thing to do. Are we? Have, are the friends about to be reunited? Oh, you did do this level! Uh, did I? Yeah, once we go, I think... Another wrench! Another uh, wrench upgrade. This seems so familiar! Because I think there's an outside to this level also. And I, if I'm remembering correctly, you did. Oh man, that these platforms seem incredibly familiar. I'm, I don't know. I think this might have been me. I'm starting to think it's me. It's funny that you don't remember your level. I don't remember this at all. I just had so many of them. Does this remind you? Yeah, yeah this does. Yeah. When I see this stuff, it's coming back slowly. Yeah, I think this was me. Yeah, because it uses everything from the level, you know, from your level zero work and from the yeah on the side on the side of the buildings work in in uh, Boldon. Yeah, that must be why this level is so good. <laughs> I didn't I didn't do the clank stuff. I mean, that might have been where the, the, that might be where the disconnect is. I didn't actually do any of the clank segment stuff. I, I, if I did anything, I only did this enemy segment. And this level does have a lot of clank in it. Oh! Uh, I'm just gonna fast forward past that death when when it comes to it. So let me get back there. Yeah, it's got the mountains from level zero are, yep. are now here, but they're not moving, or are they? They are moving. Okay. Can you tell? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you stand still, I can tell. When you're moving, it's a little bit difficult. But yeah, when you stand still, you can see the move. Yeah. And look, it, it's reusing art, too. This big thing was... We stopped and looked at it in level zero. Oh, come on. This is brutal, man. What were you thinking? I didn't... Look, they're just doing a lot of damage. They're not doing anything particularly fancy. I need to... If they're doing I'm... a lot of damage, you know who's to blame for that? Designers. Because you didn't make because that decision? That's your job. Because we gave you all a text file that said how much damage do these guys do because we that, that stuff that needed to be tweaked by designers. Because it used to all be in the uh, in the enemy files. But yeah, it was in the code. But when you were actually, towards the end, actually trying to tune the difficulty of the game, we broke it out and made it something that was actually hit points and damage numbers were all handled by designers and that was all done absent of programmers. So if things are doing too much damage, you got nobody to blame but you and your co-workers hey, over there uh, in the design no, department. No, no. My, my co-workers, I had nothing to do with the balancing. 